Should we head down to the cafeteria for lunch? Sure. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking my elevator. <laughs> you installed an elevator in your locker? It's a two-story school. <laughs> no one's that lazy. <laughs> ah, there you are, Mr. Young. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Hi, I'm Joseph. Is this your son? I am so sorry that you're gonna lose your hair. He's not my son. Obviously. For him to have any offspring, you need a wife. And for that, you first need a date. It's hard to get a date when women won't talk to you. Yeah, and it's hard to talk to a man when the very sight of him turns your stomach. Joseph is a new student here. He's a genius, like that guy with the weird voice who's pretty much incapable of doing anything physical. Stephen Hawking? No, you. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you, Mr. Young. When I was a little kid, my mother used to read me her paper on cosmic background microwave radiation before bed. I should try that. Usually, I just count sheep. The problem is the nearest farm is 80 miles from my house. Anyway, I figured you'd be a good person to show him around. I'd be happy to. Really? You know, it's a two-story school. Three, if you count the basement. Are you going to the basement? No. <laughs> Bye! Yes. I'd like to introduce you to our newest student, my young apprentice, Joseph. He's like a tiny version of Mr. Young. But Mr. Young's a tiny version of Mr. Young. All right, everyone, take your seats. OK. See you all tomorrow. Today, we're going to learn about the human brain which comprises four cortical divisions, or lobes. The occipital, the temporal, the frontal, and the parietal. I don't understand. What don't you understand? The part I don't understand. I understand. Think of the brain as a house with a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a garage. Well, I watch TV in my living room, so the occipital must be the visual center of the brain. The kitchen, or temporal lobe, must control my sense of smell. The frontal lobe must be for reasoning and logical thought, because the bathroom is where I do my best thinking. And the parietal lobe, the garage, motor skills? Exactly. That's amazing. For the first time all year, I finally understand something. That was awesome, Joseph. You should teach. Yeah. Having a kid for a teacher would be really cool. I see we have a few new faces in detention, as well as the usual repeat offenders. Don't look at me. Well, you are here a lot. Oh, I know. I just don't want you to look at me. I still don't know why I'm here. You stole a chair from the science lab. You have no proof. <laughs> just like you have no proof, I put glue on one of the chairs in here. Which chair? <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter. You two are lifers beyond reform. Have you considered that by locking us up with other miscreants, you're just making it easier for us to learn new criminal techniques, which lands us right back here in detention? No, I have not considered that. Well, you should. You know, you're right. Maybe it's time you learned what it's like to be in my shoes. I don't think they'd fit. I wear a size 13 and a size 10. Well, lay some up, son. I'm gonna make you two hall monitors. Maybe a little sense of authority will set you straight. Have you considered that this might be a huge mistake that will end up biting you in the chair-covered butt? No, I have not considered that. Well, you should. Yeah, it'll be 
fine. Pat Joseph is really smart. It was incredible to be in the presence of such a genius. What about me? You probably enjoyed it too. <laughs> well, I'm honored to be mentoring Joseph. I'm sure I can teach him a few things. Oh, and he can teach you a few things, like how to talk to Echo. Your brain distinguishes between unexpected external touch and your own. That's why you can't tickle yourself. But you can tickle other people. Could you get a kiss? That should be me. Okay. Could you could you could you go? I meant echo in me. You make science so easy to understand. Would you mind tutoring me after school? Sure. See you back here at three thirty. Great. It's a date. A date? This is terrible. Here, this will cheer you up. Could you could you could stop that? Actually, it did make me feel better. <laughs> Welcome to Hall Monitor Academy. Do you mind? I'm trying to train these new hall monitors. Now get out of here. No, I mean actually leave. Now. As hall monitors, you're gonna be dragged into the deepest, darkest depths of... hall. <laughs> It'll be no picnic! Except in May, when we have our annual hall monitors picnic. So what are we supposed to do? Ride around in one of these dork mobiles? Hey, you rookies have to earn the right to ride around on one of these dork mobiles. <laughs> now, as hall monitors, one of your primary duties is to prevent people from running in the halls. Ivy, let's see how you do that. Cute. Wow. Very nice, Ivy. Play to your strengths. Okay, Slab, let's see what you've got. Hey, you're cute. <laughs> okay, but you need to find your own approach. Got it. <laughs> wow. How bad does your breath have to be to knock a guy out cold? That was rhetorical. <laughs> Wimps. It's not that bad. Can you believe, Joseph? Echo is my girl. Doesn't he know that? How could he? I don't think Echo knows it. You don't just walk into another man's school and start tickling. When you find a girl you like, you pine after her. You construct elaborate scenarios in your mind about the two of you spending time together. You work up the nerve to call her. You lose your nerve. You wallow in self-pity. Then you work up your nerve again. Then, sometime in the third year, you ask her out. But on the night of the date, you're so sick to your stomach, you have to bail. So it's back to wallowing in self-pity for another year. Now, thanks to Joseph, a carefully constructed plan has to be thrown out the window. Well, he's not the only genius who can destroy another genius's carefully constructed plan. What are you gonna do? I don't know. All I can tell you is it won't be carefully constructed. That's my kind of plan. Oops. Better get to my tutoring date. Tripwire? is what I would have said to the victim of this prank had I really been doing it and not merely demonstrating it safely over your head. Where you're safe. Nice one. So the first tripwire was just a decoy? <laughs> Fooled you again. What are you doing? Adam, I'm Joseph, the lovable 10-year-old genius. 
What's wrong with you? I'm going to go find Joseph. Well, look no further. I'm standing right here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Where are you going? We have a tutoring date. Fine. Joseph, let's get this over with. Great. I'm going to teach you about the brain. And what happens when it's so clearly damaged? OK. Think of a damaged brain as a house with a leaky roof. Except unlike a house where you can just put on a new roof, most severe brain damage is irreparable. All right. Good lesson. Brain damage, bad. Aha! I am, in fact, not Joseph, but Adam Young, who is every bit as good a teacher as Joseph is. Hold it right there, mister. Freeze! <laughs> Identity theft is a serious crime. Consider yourself busted by the hall monitor's undercover unit. But I wasn't doing anything. Resisting arrest, huh? <laughs> Is that spearmint? Darn it! Shouldn't have had that breath mint. This machine is designed to stimulate synaptic responses in the brain. By increasing the electrical flow to a localized area, one's capacity to process knowledge should be proportionately increased. <laughs> Ask Joseph. I will when you're not around. You seem kind of jealous of him. I was, but not anymore. This school is big enough for two geniuses. Oh, you mean me and Joseph? What? People refer to me as a genius all the time. I'm constantly hearing things like, good one, genius. And way to ruin everything, genius. And we're being sarcastic when we call you a genius, genius. Well, I'm just going to forget about Joseph and focus on my research. Oh, you need help? After all, I am a genius. <laughs> I could use a test subject. I was going to use a mouse because its mind is genetically similar to a human's, but your mind is also genetically similar to a human's. <laughs> Plus, I'm not using it. Great. Put this on. On your head, genius. Right. I knew that. Let's start by stimulating the area of the brain with cerebrum that does math. You could try, but I'm not very good at it. If f is a differentiable function on r and x is a local maximum or local minimum of f, then the derivative of f at x is zero. That's correct. Can I keep this thing just till I graduate? Next test. Let's go to the cerebellum and see if we can't enhance your movement. Young. Mind if I borrow this mod of the brain for my tutoring date with Echo? Please, don't make me get on my knees and beg. Oh, so you heard about that? Yeah, but don't worry, I have a short memory. Okay, I get it. I was stupid and I'm sorry. The thing is, I kind of like Echo. So ask her out. It's not that easy. I haven't really spent a lot of time around people my own age, so I guess sometimes... I'm a little awkward around them. I'm not your age, and you're a little awkward around me. <laughs> Mr. Tater's not your age. You're anyway, <laughs> you have fun tutoring Echo. I'm going to focus on my research. What do you have here? This baby stimulates areas of the brain with a low-level electrical charge. Localized? Yes. For example, I'm concentrating on the cerebellum, where, with the turn of a knob, I can subtly affect movement. what would happen if you stimulated the whole brain at once. Are you suggesting that doing so could potentially create some kind of super genius? I'm just saying out loud what you were already thinking. <laughs> Who are you going to test it on? Because I'd like to volunteer. You? Yeah, unless you don't want me to be a super genius, but that would mean you're jealous of me. <laughs> Which I'm totally not. <laughs> Derby, give me the helmet. Theft is a major problem at Finnegan. A lot of school property is taken over the course of a year. As hall monitors, you have the right to search a student's locker if you suspect he or she is guilty. Can we search if we're just curious? No. What if we're really, really curious? Still no. But 
You always have permission to search Derby's locker because he's a thief. I resent that, sir. Do you deny it? No. <laughs> but I resent it. Open up your locker so that Slab and Ivy can search it. <whistles> Aha! <laughs> the mascot costume. Mrs. Gesser? I thought you retired years ago. <laughs> I think that's the last of it. <laughs> nice work, team. Now, arrest this felon. For what? Possession of stolen school property. It's never left the school, so technically it's not stolen. <laughs> he makes a good point. In fact, I've been storing all this stuff for you. I think I'll start charging you rent. Rent? The school can't afford to pay you rent? Well, I suppose I could keep on storing it for free. If you put all this stuff back. You heard the man. Get this stuff put away. All right. In you go, lady. Everyone? We are here to witness the future. Is it a flying car? No. Is it a flying dorkmobile? No, it doesn't fly. Is it a chicken? What? You said it doesn't fly. Chickens don't fly. He's right, they don't. Chicken isn't the future. We have chicken now. Where? I don't mean we have it now. I'm going to turn this young boy into a super genius. Well, he's already the smartest person I've ever met. Quiet! Are you ready? I'm ready if you are. I mean, I trust you. What kind of a monster would hurt a child? <laughs> Did it work? There's only one way to find out. Joseph, why don't you tell us the difference between bosonic and heterotic string theory? I like meatballs. He has such a way of simplifying things. Oh, Joseph, are you okay? Trumpets make a funny noise. I have always thought that. What have you done to Joseph? You've made him as dumb as Derby. As dumb as Derby, you monster. Oh. I don't know how this could have happened. Bunnies smell like magic. Why would you do this to such a bright young man? It must be jealousy. It's true. Adam told me he was jealous of Joseph. I guess I'll have to go back to grade school. Buses are fat cars. Get out of my head. I don't understand why this didn't work. I do. By stimulating my entire brain at once, the voltage was so diluted, it had no effect. It's like trying to feed an entire village with a grain of rice. What? That wasn't dumb. Shouldn't you be saying things like, tennis balls are fuzzy? No, because I'm not an idiot. Then why'd you fake being dumb? Now they're gonna send you back to elementary school. Exactly. I've seen what skipping all those grades can do to a guy. I don't want to end up friendless, socially awkward, unable to talk to girls. I'm not friendless. I've got Derby. Okay, I'll give you that one. Anyway, I'd rather just pretend to be average. So I won't graduate high school till I'm 17. At least I'll kiss a girl before I'm 40. You evil little... Genius? There you are, Joseph. Are you ready to go on the big yellow fat car to your new school? Underpants go on the inside. Yes, they do. You're wrong about me, Joseph. If I had my life to live over, I wouldn't change one thing, not one minute of it. And you know why? Because it led me here, to this job I love, and these people I... 
I like me song. <laughs> Slab, Ivy, I just wanted to say how proud I am of you both. Look how far you've come. This hallway has never been so orderly, and you have become solid citizens. Thank you, sir, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to ticket you. Ticket me? Your scooter is parked in front of a door. That's a clear violation. Oh, no, it's not parked. I just stopped to compliment you. Are you arguing with a hall monitor? And look at this. Your tail light is broken. It's not bro- <laughs> This is a very serious offense. You're gonna have to come with us. I'm not going anywhere with anyone. Resisting arrest? You're only making it harder on yourself, Bella. No, wait! You can't throw me in the detention room. Half the people in that place are there because of me. They'll leave me alive! Quit your whining and get in there. <laughs> Maybe we've gone too far. Come on. You don't think he's really being beaten up? That's just the sound effects guy doing his thing. I mean, listen to those screams. They're so fake. Help me, for the love of all that's good in the world. Officers. Uh-oh. To the dark mobile. <laughs> 